Yakuza 3 shows us one thing, kids. If you pout long enough, you'll get your way. Yes, after releasing the title over in Japan and denying that it would ever come to the States, Sega has given in to fan demands and is releasing Yakuza 3 on our shores. But before you begin celebrating, friends, let's see if this game, the love child of a JRPG in Grand Theft Auto, has what it takes to be a Western heavyweight. <laughs> Yakuza 3 is basically a Japanese mafia flick. You're Kazuma, a guy who was once a higher up in the family, but has since left the life of crime to start an orphanage and a normal life. However, when your old associates start getting knocked off and a fishy land slash military deal threatens your kids, your inner badass shines through and you have to go whoop some ass. This makes for a great story. I connected with these characters and that makes the final chapters pretty intense. One moment everything's fine and the next my jaw was on the floor and I even teared up. Yakuza 3 is a hell of a ride that's worth the price of admission. This tale is presented in some beautiful cutscenes, but they're often interrupted by in-game sequences that you need to read through and click through before returning to the CGI movie. It presents an odd pacing issue with long bits of story waffling back and forth between CG and in-game scenes. Also fans who balk at Metal Gear's lengthy cutscenes might want to think twice about Yakuza as the game isn't afraid to make you watch story sequences for long stretches of time. Another thing to take note of is that there's no English voice track in this game. So unless you're fluent in Japanese, you'll be reading your entire time in Okinawa and Tokyo's Red Light District. Plus, this is a game that came out a while ago in Japan, so it does look dated at times with characters popping in in somewhat bland environments. I think the characters and fights look great, but other stuff can look less than awesome. <laughs> Yakuza 3 is interesting to try and categorize. On the one hand, there's this open world for you to wander around. It feels like a GTA game, especially when you're running around the streets and beating people with weapons. <laughs> On the other hand, and the hand that really shines the more you play, you have this JRPG feel. As you wander around the streets, you get caught up in random battles that give you experience points to level up your character. You carry a ton of items to heal and mess with your heat meter for finishing moves. You can craft new items with this goofy stuff you find, equip armor, and so on. In the end, Yakuza 3 is a game that blends both genres and tosses in a fighting arena, karaoke bar, and so much more. It works quite well, and I loved brawling through thug after thug to find out where I had to go next. It can be a bit repetitive if you're just trying to get to the next main story quest, but that feeling only lasted a second or two for me as I was back to happily beating people senseless in no time. The simple question is, do you love Japanese culture, or at least Japanese quirkiness? I do, so the insanity of stuff like this mafia dude taking cell phone photos of an elderly woman doing a flip on her moped so that he can blog about it and learn new moves easily kept me entertained. As did the great story, the impressive beatings, and the free roaming world. I had a fantastic time with Yakuza 3 in spite of its flaws, but I know it's not for everyone. Just awesome people who think choking bad guys out with nunchucks is cool. For the full written review, check out IGN.com. <laughs>